Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, because this is so relevant for the moment, how do we know when it's okay to buy the dip, right? I mean, that's what you guys probably hear all the time. Oh, are you buying the dip? Are you going to buy the dip? Um, it's a very, very tricky thing and you have to know what you're looking for. So that's what I am here for to potentially help you guys out in um, you know, determining when you're day trading, whether you're gonna be buying at the wrong time, which is usually you buy too early, okay? And that's what we're trying to avoid. You don't wanna buy too early because then you're just gonna get just crushed. So here we go sharing the screen. So this is Peloton on Friday. Okay, this is going to be a very, very nice example of how you can tell whether something has bottomed or not. So with the rest of the market, and basically every single other stock in the entire market, this is what their um, Friday's trading looks like. This is what every chart looks like. And it has looked like this maybe for two weeks now. We've had this nice V here, which if you are trading it, you could potentially be doing very well as long as if you're going long and you, you don't buy too soon because then you can just get really crushed even further. So looking at Peloton on the one minute chart, okay? This is the one minute um, intraday chart. We have the VWAP up here. We have the lower band, the upper band. Um, these are, you don't really need these, um, but it's just in the video and the RSI. RSI, I, I really like um, to look at as well. So we're gonna keep that up here, especially for this video, because as you can see, market opens and we sell off. Let's just zoom this in. Huge sell off. We open up here at 106, okay? The first half an hour of trading, we're down to 90 eight dollars massive sell-offs going on right so it it gives you a little bounce here and on the rsi your it starts back here at 940 the rsi you're in oversold territory which is anything under 30 on the rsi so right here you may have had some people buying just based on the rsi which you do not want to do. You need to have multiple confluences to make a trade, not just one item. So what does it do? It gets a, it gets a nice bump here and you know, you get a couple of dollars move three minutes later, it starts to go down even lower. Okay. So you have a drop, you have a bounce right up to VWAP. You have a drop, which is making lower lows, okay? This is very important. It gets a bounce, but makes a lower high than it did right here, okay? So you have a lower high. What does it do from here? It drops even further and makes another lower low. So here you have the RSI, once again, super oversold, right? How do I know that this is not gonna be the spot where I should be buying? I don't wanna miss the dip, right? Because once these things reverse, as you can see here, they go very fast. So if you're impatient and you jump the gun, you could potentially be buying too early. 
And I can understand it too. I mean, look at how oversold this is. It starts to bounce, but hold on a second. As it bounces, it does not make a higher high, right? So it drops even further. And when it gets down to here, right here, which is gonna be the low of back here, right? It continues to make a lower low. This is how you know that this was not the bottom. When it failed to make new highs and break past this level right here, and it started to go back down, you're not done with the dip yet, okay? So anyway, we drop even further. Once again, the RSI is oversold. So we get a rebound, but it doesn't make a higher high, which is right here. It drops even further. Now, this is where it gets very interesting because we are now two hours into the trading day. Most bounces were happening in the first hour, so around 1030. So a lot of people that went long here had to stop out because it just was not the right time. Jumped the gun, we never made new highs. And what did we do here? Right when it broke this level, we made lower lows again, which is right here, all these stop outs. Once it broke this level, people were just, they're, they're hitting the bid. They're just stopping out of their position. And then we get to the bottom. But how do you know when you're in that trading day? How do you know that this is the bottom? Because that is obviously the toughest thing to know. How do I know this isn't going to go any further? Okay. Well, for one thing, you're, if you follow stocks, you know different stocks, you're down over $12 a share on Peloton. That is up there with, you know, as high as it usually will go down. Um, so you're down 12 points, not saying that that's when I would just buy. Your RSI is the lowest it has been so far, okay? And now you have a very specific base forming. I'm sure you guys can see this. I mean, at uh, 90, yeah, it's about $94 here. It's just basing out. We'll zoom in a little bit on this. It's holding up at 94, okay? So we get the drop, right? We get a quick pop. A huge amount of buying comes in. This right here, this candle, this is a very good indication for a potential reversal that is about to take place. This is the by far the biggest volume bar on the entire chart and it is all green, okay? But we're not done there. What do we do? We fail to make new highs. So we come back down. This is where I hope that you guys watching the video are still paying attention because this is how you know right here, when it did not continue to make new lows and it held up, right here, it held up. This is when you know that you're about to go on a run. And this is when you buy the dip. You make new highs, okay? Anything over this right here, I would consider very safe to buy, especially after seeing this huge green uh, volume bar. And we did not continue to make new lows. And it actually hit to the penny at support at $94, a lot of big money coming in here to prevent this from going down further. And it's probably whoever was buying here, whatever huge amount of buying, institutional buying, whatever came in here, they were not going to let it go down below 94. A lot of trading is done by co computer algorithms. You have to realize that. 
they stepped in right here when it got to 94 again, and that was the end. We started to make higher highs, higher lows, and gradually went up from here. These are the type of things that once you get used to and you're watching markets, and when I say a lot of times I like to do technical analysis, this is what I'm talking about because you can day trade off of this um, stuff that you guys put together. So you're looking at charts and you're saying to yourself, well, when am I gonna buy? Uh, I'm just gonna buy here or here. It doesn't work that way. You have to really have um, a couple of different um, confluences that come together before you decide this is gonna be something I wanna day trade. So you have it right here. You have support, you have the volume, and you have higher highs and higher lows, which is just, this is just picture perfect for a nice reversal. And there is a tremendous amount of money to be made right here. From 94 to 107, I mean, done the right way, you could have been destroying this stock and really doing well if you just know what to look for. So anyway, this video went on a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but I think it's really, really important. And, um, you know, the more of us that learn this type of analysis, um, I think the better we can all do um, in the markets overall. Technical analysis is just huge um, because fundamentals, let's be honest, in this market, it's not really, uh, you know, stock prices and valuations are so crazy. I would much rather be able to read the way that charts go uh, to enter and exit my trades. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit that thumbs up for me. It helps the channel grow. If you're new, subscribe, and we will see you back with the next video. Take care, guys.